Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, Mrs. Dita here with Hero Smart. Welcome back to class. It's really good to have you here in today's uh, lesson. We are going to be talking about weather instruments and their uses. So if you've been following us along the last few weeks, we've been talking about change. Change occurs everywhere all the time. It occurs in your physical body. It occurs in the animals and creatures that are all around us. It occurs in our plants and um, in our grasses and our trees. It occurs in our weather. And that's kind of where we are right now. We talked about some of the changes in weather and the seasons in last week's lesson. Today's and this week's lesson, we're gonna talk about the instruments that are used to measure these changes. Now, do I, the instruments I'm going to talk to you about, I do not own a single one. I should just tell you that right off. But we can still talk about it in a conversation form so that you can become familiar with these types of instruments. Let's go ahead and get started. The very first um, instrument that is used to measure weather is called the rain gauge. The rain gauge is an instrument that they use to determine how much rainfall. Have you ever heard someone on the news say, oh, we have three inches of rain? You're like, well, how did you guess that? They didn't really guess they used the rain gauge. So let's write that down. To measure rainfall, we usually use a rain gauge. Okay, and <clears throat> to measure temperature, we oftentimes use a thermometer. So if we wanna find out how hot or how cold it is, the uh, weatherman is gonna use a thermometer. To determine that. Uh, there's also the hygrometer. The hygrometer is used to measure humidity. Um, it is another instrument that is used to determine a specific factor of weather, namely humidity. And it has two thermometers. It has the dry bulb and it also has the wet bulb. The dry bulb is obviously going to tell us how uh, how um, it's going to help us to know the amount of humidity that's not in the air. While the wet bulb is going to do the very opposite. It's going to measure the amount of water vapor in the air. There's also um, to measure atmospheric pressure. The instrument used there is called the barometer. Barometer is spelled B-A-R-O and then at meter. The barometer is uh, the instrument used to measure the, the pressure. Oftentimes you'll hear on the news, you hear someone say, oh, the, the wind is blowing, you know, 90 miles an hour, maybe not 90, maybe 35 miles an hour east. And you're like, well, how did you know that? Well, it's because of, they have the equipment to do that. There's also the anemometer, and this is going to measure the speed of wind. So the anemometer is going to measure the speed, and the barometer is going to measure the pressure. Let's write this down with wind. It's spelled A-N-E-M. A-N-E-M. O meter. Okay, so this is the, the instrument used to measure specifically the speed of wind. And also, we talked about this last year's science class. We, all, we talked about a wind vane, and a wind vane is really cool. It'll help you determine the direction that um, the wind is blowing in. That's a, it's much less expensive. It's really easy to use. You can just get one, put it on top of your house, maybe on the roof, and wherever the wind is blowing, that's the direction that the wind vane is going to turn. And the final thing I want to talk to you about today is the sundial. The sundial is going to help us to measure the intensity of the sun. This is called a sundial. And it's going to help us to measure just how intense the sun is. Now, the cloudiness is obviously measured just by looking at it. You're going to determine what kind of clouds there are in the sky and what those clouds, how, what they signify and helps us to determine if we have rain coming. Have you ever heard someone say, oh, it's very overcast. 
they're talking about just by viewing the clouds you can determine um, that rain is on its way and so that's another way you can the instrument we use for cloudiness boys and girls that's all i have for you today and there's no review material for you so thank you so much for joining me in today's lesson until next time remember jesus loves you as do we god bless I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with Hero Sports.